Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday, Microsoft shipped two Windows 11 Insider builds to the beta channel, build 22621 and 22631.2199. And that was with the update KB5029352. Now, in effect, build 22631 is uh, the build that's rolling out for the 23H2 feature update for Windows 11, uh, starting to roll out at the end of next month, September 2023. So there's a good chance that the features um, in the beta channel uh, been tested currently in the beta channel build 22631 will roll out with the 23H2 feature update. Now having a look at what's new in build 22631, the big one here is now there is a native support for the first time making its way into the beta channel for reading additional archive file formats. Now just take note um, that this is just a list of some of the um, archive file formats that Windows 11 will be able to read. And just take note, though, that you cannot create a archive. You can only read an archive. So just take note of that. And also note that encrypted archives are currently not supported. So that's basically a limitation over there. And this means, though, that you will no longer have to install a third-party app to manage these archival formats and file types. And um, although, as mentioned, though, encrypted archives are currently not supported. So that's the a brand new feature. Um, which I would consider to be the key highlight for this week and then for last week actually and then just looking at the changes and improvements this also rolled out for the dev channel but just a quick mention uh, for files that do not have rich thumbnail previews uh, that can be provided it will no longer show a blank preview area and this is the thumbnail previews that Microsoft has been testing in the inside program for the start recommended section and um, if there is no thumbnail preview available, obviously you will see the details available in this screenshot um, without the thumbnail. And if there is a thumbnail available, you will see all these details and obviously that thumbnail will also be provided. Moving on to the next, and this is a highly requested feature, which um, means that you can now turn on never combined mode for never combined taskbar items uh, in the beta channel build 22631 for last week and um, you can now turn on never combine mode and it now has a separate setting in the actual personalization taskbar page for turning this on for for other taskbars and that means as an example multiple monitor scenarios as an example and if we just zoom uh, in here you can see um, that we get those two settings available combine taskbar buttons and hard labels and combined taskbar buttons and hard labels on other taskbars. So that's never combined uh, mode now being tested in the beta channel. Moving on to the next, and this has been around for the last week or so uh, in the Insider program. And they're beginning to roll out an update for the snipping tool, version 11.2306.43.0 and higher, which now introduces new buttons to edit in paint for screenshots so here we can see the first example editing paint for screenshots and edit in clipchamp for screen recording so that's a snipping tool update now even above um, those changes and improvements and that one new feature uh, we also get numerous fixes that have rolled out for build 22631 and we get some taskbar and system tray fixes we also get a file explorer and input and a whole bunch of narrator fixes. And then for both builds, um, we get a lot of fixes, plenty of them. So obviously there's still a bit of work to do um, in this build before it makes its way uh, to the stable channel um, starting the end of September next month, as mentioned, as part of the 23H2 feature update. And then over and above that, there's still a couple of known issues that hopefully Microsoft will be able to iron out before this does make its way to the stable version as the feature update. So that's what's new in the beta channel. And as mentioned, those pair of brand new builds rolled out late last week on Friday. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.